Welcome back, y'all, to We Shoot Films, where we teach about cinematography, Unreal Engine, and we also do product reviews dealing with those two topics. So if you're into any of those things, make sure to subscribe. Today, we are talking about Unreal Engine, and it's something simple. Uh, I had a request. Somebody asked me, how do I connect the green screen to a car, like if they're performing in the car while the car is, car is moving? And... Um, I said, hey, let's do it. You might know it. You might not, some of y'all. But, you know, if you do know it, go watch one of my other videos. I appreciate it. But for those who don't know it, let's do it. All right, let's get into it. Here we go, y'all. All right, so here we go. Um, We got this right here. I know some of y'all like to know where I got to get some of this stuff from. Uh, you can go to the store and um the marketplace i believe and it's the car it's called car configurator there you go that's how you do it you got, it's called car configurator it's pretty cool so go ahead and get it if you want to get it um other than that there we go all right so this is the scene and let's get our green screen now the green screen that i'm going to use was it meant to be in a car i'm just grabbing a png from one of my other you know sessions projects and just applying it to the car all right so here we go for those who don't know how to bring in your png or, or still kind of rough at it we'll go through it real quick okay all right content right click new folder Call it what you want to call it. All right. Right click again. Media. And you're looking for a me image media source. And you're going to call, give it another name. I'll be feeling like you can't hear me. All right. Double click on that. Now that's assuming that you exported it as a PNG sequence. I export all my green screen from After Effects into a PNG sequence. All right. Then you come here, say sequence path. You grab it. You find where you have it at. Mine is over here. I'm grabbing this one. Just grab it. Just click on the first one. They all come in. And then right here, your frames per second. I use 60. And close out. And then let's right click again. Go media media player click this again hit okay and call this something else it doesn't like to be called the same thing so you know gotta call it something all right so now let's grab a shape go to your shapes right here grab the plane bring it down and your media texture right here you're gonna put on top of that and sometimes this helps to just kind of show this and hit save and when you do that it'll pop up sometimes all right and then yo this space bar here this is what my bad this space bar stop you know does all this okay right now we're going here we're going to rotate it 90 degrees bring it back in 90 degrees and bring them up bring them up And let's stretch them out a little bit. Now, you, this is going to stretch them here. Okay. He's going to kind of make them look human. There you go. And then what we want to do is make sure he's compatible with the sizing of the world. You know what I mean? So he's in the right size. He ain't too tall, too big, or too small. And the best way I find to do that is to bring in a mannequin. Okay. I already have one. If you don't have one, uh, go to the marketplace and just look up, you know, UE4 mannequin, something like that, or any mannequin to do, whatever. But right here, it's free. Just throw it in there. Okay. Now, let me, I'm going to say this. If you see this here, no compatible users. Now, these are for people that's just kind of getting into this. I know some of y'all know. So, you know, bear with me. You press, you show, hit, you click on here, show all projects, click on your project and then choose the most latest one and then hit add to project. I already have it, so I'm not going to do it. And then you look for him. And right here you see mesh and you just bring them out. Okay. 
and you just kind of want to take your green screen and you know kind of match it up and then here on the right of your green screen you want to see this not open you want to see this like this and you're going to kind of bring them up and just kind of make him it looks like you know he's somewhat the same head size and body it's pretty much he's good so delete the mannequin and you're good all right you don't have to do that but i find it just helps me make sure i'm at the right you know size and then bring him in the car he's gonna be a backseat drive a backseat performer this is assuming you would have somebody in the front seat again this footage was not meant for this and there you go he looked like he's he looked like he's in the car it's pretty dope um i'm not gonna deal with no lighting or nothing this is again just to teach you this concept now the real concept the real reason we're here is to attach him to the car because right now he's not attached to the car so if, if we move the car right now the car is just going to move without him you see all right so let's bring him back to where he needs to be system is running kind of slow today okay and this is real simple all right but let's you know what we have to make him move so before we do all of that let's create a sequence all right you go up here and you kick add level sequence call it what you want i'll usually put it in the folder with the per with the green screen and then right here too hit 60 frames you want that to be the same and here you get add media track and then you hit plus button media source and your green screen right click properties media texture you see the one with the star there and there you go now he's going to move move this out the way you know and down here let me make this longer okay he's a bit too active there but this isn't about him performing anyway i just get lost i always get sidetracked i always i do too much sometimes so he's in there that's it all right that's the concept all right all right so let's connect him now all right because he's still not connected very easy you have the you have the audi right here okay and he's right here his name is plain if you want to uh rename it just click one time on the on the plane and then rename it okay so now to connect them this is all you do take the audi left click drag it on top of the plane and let it go now it's a part of it okay now that is a part of your green screen but if you choose this one it still won't do it as you see okay you have to choose your plane that's the master if you choose your plan your plan master you see he's rolling with it then there you go he is connected to the vehicle now let's do us uh that's pretty much all there is right there um and if you wanted to add a camera let's do that right here let's go up here cinematics send a camera actor bring one down bring it up and turn it 180 and go to your right here and right here we're gonna go full frame i'm gonna give it 50 millimeters and we're gonna go we don't want to do manual we want to track it and if this is what you would use but if you don't see this it's closed down see so make sure tracking focus settings is open so grab the doppler and then grab it and point and click on your green screen and you should see the name here and now he's connected and now you have the best green screen in the world boy nobody beats this green screen nobody but also make sure you come down and right here it says no crap i always give it 239 pin it and it looks more cinematic 
You know what I mean? He chilling, man. That boy chilling. Look at him. Chilling. Yeah. So now he's chilling. And he's performing. You know, you see him right there bobbing his head a little bit. You know what I mean? He's doing his thing. I'm going to let y'all get more creative with it. I'm just showing you the concepts. Now, one more thing, okay? Then I'm out of here. Let's say, now you might be fine with this camera being here, right? You're just right here. Uh, you're going to animate the wheels, and you just want to have this just, just kind of just, just fly through. You know what I mean? You're just going to do a scene where it flies through. You know what I mean? So... Yeah, this thing is real, real, real messed up for me today. It's acting funny, my computer. But anyway, if you want to connect the camera to it, mad easy. All right. So this is what we do. Where's the cam? Cam is right here. All you do is connect the camera directly on top of there, on top of the car. Now let it go, and now you see it's all connected. When you open the green screen. You got the Audi, you got the camera. And then to bring it into the level sequence so you can do your moves, just grab Cass right here. All right, grab the green screen Cass and bring him in to this level sequence. And then hit transform. We'll bring this to the beginning here. I'm gonna hit all of them, location. And hold on, and as you see, As you see, it's following it. If you look at it, look at them. It's following it. Now, of course, the, the wheels aren't turning because we didn't do that. But it's actually following the car now. And if you want to see that, all you got to do is grab the camera, bring it in. And then... Here we go. It's moving. It just seems like it's moving slow, but it's moving. If you see, it's really moving. All right. So that's all you got to do. So also, I want to make sure to let you know I am doing consultations now. So if you need help with Unreal Engine, cinematography, lighting, whatever it is, make sure to contact me through my website or through my social media if you're catching me while I'm online and we can set something up. Again, it's... You know, we're doing consultations, so, you know, make sure to get at me. Other than that, um, hope this helped you out. If you needed this type of information, leave any comments in the bottom. I'm going to get at them as soon as I can. Um, we got some reviews coming up, some wireless audio reviews coming up from Rode um, and Comica. Um, and that's about it. You know what I'm saying? So make sure to subscribe, hit the bell on the side so you get notified on time. And like I always say, it is what it is. I'm out.